Tonight's headlines, Isco Moreno to run for president. Palace mom on when government will end ties to Red Cross. COVID-19 cases in the country at 2,401,916. Gordon welcomes Duterte ordered to probe Red Cross. LPA ITCZ to bring rain showers and thunderstorms. And stocks rise on risk on sentiments. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, September 21, 2021. I'm Miguel Paltogon and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Manila Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso will run for president in the 2022 national elections while former senatorial candidate Willie Ong will be his running mate, according to the Manila City Public Information Office on Tuesday. Domagoso's campaign manager Lito Banayo also confirmed the local chief executive's presidential bid. According to Banayo, Domagoso chose Ong as candidate for vice president because the latter may help address the COVID-19 pandemic. Ong earned his medica medical degree from De La Salle University and is also a previous consultant for the Department of Health. Malacan Yang on Tuesday did not give a categorical answer as to when the government will end its transactions with Philippine Red Cross as earlier announced by President Rodrigo Duterte. Roque then said that the Red Cross chaired by Senator Richard Gordon should not be led by a politician. Gordon chairs the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, which is investigating the government's 8 billion peso purchase of imported medical supplies from Farmily Firm, a move that sidelined local manufacturers. The government has maintained that such purchase is legal and of high quality. The Department of Health reported 16,361 confirmed COVID-19 cases on Monday to bring the total number of infected in the country to 2,401,916. This brought the active cases to 171,142 and of the total, 92.4% are mild, 2.8% are asymptomatic, 1.4% are severe, and 0.6% in the critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 2,193,700 after 21,974 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 37,074 following 140 fatalities recorded. The DOH said all lab laboratories were operational on September 19, while four laboratories were not able to submit their data to COVID-19 documents respiratory system. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magandang araw mga katribo! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Comfy Manalo, Chinky Mangkukang, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Chirk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Inabas ng mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatagong istorya sa mga latest na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. Simula ng bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments dito sa ating programa. Maaaring nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga. At magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Magpabakura kayo! Magpabakura kayo! This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM.
Vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magpabakura kayo! It's time for the world to know. Outstanding Filipinos in America. The 11th Outstanding Filipinos in America Awards 2021. A salute to the heroes of coronavirus. Coming back live in person at Carnegie Hall in New York City. Home to the TOFA Awards since 2011. Other news, Senator Richard Gordon on Tuesday welcomed President Rodrigo Duterte's order to investigate the alleged false positives COVID-19 test results conducted by the Philippine Red Cross. The issue was first raised by Deputy Speaker and Saki Party List Representative Ronaldo Marcoleta, saying some hospital personnel tested positive for COVID-19 but a retest three days later yielded negative results. Gordon asked Health Secretary Francisco Duque III to confirm that all COVID-19 tests are submitted to the DOH and RITM. Duque answered in the affirmative. The senator also slammed Marcoleta for seeking an investigation against the PRC, calling him the demolition expert of ABS-CBN. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa announced that a low-pressure area and the intertropical convergence zone are expected to bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Mimaropa, the Davao region, and Soxargen. In its 24-hour forecast, the weather agency warned against possible flash floods or landslides due to severe thunderstorms. At 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the LPA was estimated at 175 kilometers west-northwest of Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. Meanwhile, Pag-asa said ITCZ and localized thunderstorms will also bring partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms over Metro Manila and the rest of the country. And in business, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index recovered on Tuesday on risk on settlements amid the Chinese property developers' debt crisis and the peso followed. The local stock barometer rose by 23.30 points or 0.34% to 6,881.20 at the closing bell. 
the broader all shares moved sideways after dipping by 1.34 points or 0.03% to 4,264.99. Reina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Limningan said that investors bought into Philippine equities which were perceived to have less exposure to China's Evergrande's debt crisis that rocked Wall Street overnight. Volume was thin at 860.44 million shares amounting to $7.8 billion. Decliners surpassed advancers at 116 to 64 while 51 shares were unchanged. Meanwhile, the peso posted an improvement after closing the day at 50.14 against the U.S. dollar from its 50.24 finish on Monday. That wraps up the stories tonight. Before we go, I would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Ala Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Patagon, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all.